Okay, so the first step is to set up our project and we'll be using the Laravel installer to install a fresh Laravel project. And as you can see in here, I'm using a terminal called warp and it is only available for Mac. So yeah, I can't really do anything about that, but I think it's available for Linux. So yeah, you can go ahead and check out their official website on warp.dev. And again, I'm going to use the Laravel installer to install a new Laravel project. And since we are building out a students management system using Inertia JS and Vue, so I'm going to name this as Inertia Vue Students Management. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And we'll be using the Laravel Breeze starter kit. And along with that, we'll use the Inertia Vue stack uh, to get started. So yeah, let's go ahead and choose that. And we'll be using the Vue with Inertia stack let's choose that and we don't need the dark mode support we don't also need inertia ssr support because we are just going to learn new things and we won't be deploying this to production so yeah that's the reason i'm not going to choose the inertia ssr and i don't work with typescript as well so yeah i'm not going to choose that so yeah without choosing any options let's go ahead and hit enter and for the testing framework we'll be using best even though we won't be writing any tests in this project but still i'll choose best and yeah i want to initialize a git repository so yeah let's choose that and while this is installing let's also talk about some database setup so we'll be using the sqlite as our database so let's go ahead and choose that because yeah we don't have to deal with defining a separate database on mysql end this will all be managed in a single sqlite file so yeah, i'm going to choose that and yeah let's go ahead and finalize this flow okay so the project has been installed let's open that in our code editor i'll just cd into that project and i'll open that in my vs code and yeah let's also go ahead and run the migrations so i'll just run pam which stands for php artisan migrate and yeah, we don't have the database.sqlite file so this is going to create that along the way so i'll just choose yes and this is going to migrate the files and yeah let's go ahead and open that in our browser i'll just reload and uh, this is the project let me go ahead and toggle the developer mode because yeah this will let us view the url that we are currently serving and again i'm using laravel herd to serve my site so yeah let's go ahead and register a new user i'm gonna name this as admin the email is going to be admin at the rate admin.com the password is going to be password and yeah, this is the project and in the next part we'll be looking at setting up the models migrations factories and seeders for our project so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one